Week of Trinity 19, Monday, The Hills of Substitution and Presence I will lift up my eyes to the hills, from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Psalm 121, verses 1 and 2 Dear Redeemed, the Lord, the Creator of heaven and earth, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, is up there. The Christian lifts up his head and raises his eyes, for the Lord is up there. Jehovah has promised to come to us, and his advent to us will be from above. So the faithful soul lifts up her eyes to the hills. What hills? There is the hill of the substitution, Mount Moriah, which is the Old Testament's Mount Calvary. As the Lord provided a ram to be sacrificed in the place of Isaac on Mount Moriah, so the Lord provided the Lamb of God to be the sacrifice for all mankind on Mount Calvary. There is the hill of the church congregating in the presence of the Lord, Mount Zion, which is the Old Testament's Mount of Olives. At this hill the faithful congregate in order to hear the word, sing hymns, chant psalms, rest in the Lord, and feast at his table. Then Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am, and I do nothing of myself. But as my Father taught me, I speak these things. And he who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do what is pleasing to him. John 8, verses 28 and 29. What Jesus spoke of to Nicodemus the Pharisee at night, he now declares to the gaggle of Pharisees in the day. He, the Son of Man, will be lifted up. Jesus the Christ will be crucified. Whoever believes in the heaven-sent lifted-up one has salvation, pardon, everlasting life, and peace with God. The soul that is offended at and rejects this gospel is lost. All that Jesus accomplished for such a person does them no good. For although the same good news was proclaimed to them as to you, dear soul, it did not benefit them, for it did not meet with faith in them. Hebrews 4 Jesus, the Son of God, is no lone ranger in either what he says, what he is doing, or what he will accomplish. His Father from above is with him always. It is as if Jesus were saying, My Father in heaven, who sent me, is pleased when I called you Pharisees to repentance and tried to get you to see the wretched condition of your soul and the grace, mercy, and peace that is yours because I will be crucified for you. My Father is pleased with me for engaging you in this dialogue and for what I will say to you in a few minutes. For in a moment or two, you will realize what I am saying to you, and you will most certainly know that I am. And for you, dearly beloved, the Father is pleased with what Jesus has accomplished for you, is doing for you, and will be doing for you in this, your earthly exodus. May God the Holy Spirit bring you the word of law, that you may be sorry for your sins, and the gospel, that you may lift up your eyes unto the hills, and behold Jesus, your Savior. May you abide in the presence of the I Am. Prayer Merciful and everlasting God, who has not spared your only Son, but sent him from above as the sacrificial substitute, and lifted him up for us all on Mount Calvary, that he would bear our sins upon the cross, grant that our hearts may be so fixed with steadfast faith in him, that we may not fear the power of any and all adversaries, but gladly and steadfastly congregate in Mount Zion to behold you and receive your continued blessings. Grant that we may always lift up the eyes of our soul unto the hills and behold our crucified, risen, ascended, and reigning Redeemer, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Hymn number 204 when I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died, my richest gain I count but loss and pour contempt on all my pride. Forbid it, Lord, that I should boast, save in the death of Christ my God, 
all the vain things that charm me most, I sacrifice them to his blood. See, from his head, his hands, his feet, sorrow and love flow mingled down. Did e'er such love and sorrow meet, or thorns compose so rich a crown? Were the whole realm of nature mine, that were a tribute far too small. Love so amazing, so divine, demands my soul, my life, my all.